Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATI T Study Manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 151. And we are on page number 92. We'll we will solve a problem where we'll have to deal with perimeter and area. Here is the picture that is given to us. The picture that is given to us looks something like this. And this is a tricky part. I have to be careful. There. This is this is point P, point Q point R, point S, point T, this we are told is 4 feet, this we are told is 8 feet, and, and we are told that the arc PQR, let's, let's not put arc in capital letters, arc arc pqr or instead of writing out the word r we can also write it like this pqr and with a little hat on it not a flat line not not like this it has no meaning because if it were if it were straight it was straight it would have been a line segment which will have a two points a beginning point and end point and usually if it's a long arc they usually give you a point in the middle also to tell you which way to go for example for example if I put here, and if I simply say arc AB, well you don't know which arc I'm talking about. Am I talking about this arc? Or am I talking about this way? So they might put another point in the middle here to tell you arc ACB. Now you know that you have to go ACB, you have to go this way. Do you understand? Here we don't have such complication. But the reason I put that there, which is not in the book by the way, the reason I put that there is because without it, you cannot tell by looking at it that it's a semicircle. How can you tell by just simply looking at it that it's a perfect semicircle? You cannot go around assuming things. They have to tell you that. So I'm telling you, it is a semicircle. It's a half a circle. And what is it that we are asked to find? We are asked, we are being asked to figure out the perimeter and the area of this guy, this picture right here. We are told that arc PQR is, is a semicircle. So now we know it is a semicircle. We have been told that. Let's find out the perimeter first. If you want to find out the perimeter of this figure, it has two parts to it. This part is very simple. If this is 8 feet, if P to T is 8 feet, then R to S must also be 8 feet. So it's just 8 feet plus 4 feet plus 8 feet, that's the easy part. But what's, what, is the, what is the distance around this half a circle? What's the perimeter of half a circle? By the way, perimeter of a circle, perimeter of a circle is called, we already know it, is called circumference. For an ordinary picture, we use the term perimeter, but circle is such a special figure, it's such a nice looking figure, we have given it a special name, because it's a very special figure. Instead of speaking in terms of the perimeter of a circle, we use a different terminology. One speaks of a circumference of a circle, not a perimeter, but it's the same thing, same exact thing. Perimeter simply means distance around the picture, and that's what circumference is. We cannot talk about circumference of a rectangle, because rectangles is the perimeter. So we can, but we can speak of circum, but we can speak of a perimeter of a circle, because perimeter is a more generic term. Perimeter simply means distance around any picture, whereas circumference means distance around a circle. So in order to figure out the perimeter of the whole thing, this part is easy. It's eight plus four plus eight. How long is this from here to here going around? What's the distance from point R going through point Q to point P? What is half the circumference? What is half of the perimeter of the circle? Let's find out, shall we? 
Let's find out. We know from the previous lessons the perimeter of a circle is equal to 2 pi r. Well, we don't have a whole circle, we have a half a circle. If it's half a circle, you have to divide that by 2. And if you're going to divide this side by 2, we must divide that side by 2. In other words, half a perimeter is simply pi times r. Half a perimeter, half a second first rather, is just pi times r. Pi is just a constant, and r, how much is the radius? I don't know. What's the distance from here to here? I, they don't tell us. Aha! They don't tell us that, but they do tell us that s to t is 4. If s to t is 4, r to p must be 4. Which means the radius of the circle is 2 feet. 2 feet. There you have it. Now we can figure out the entire perimeter. Perimeter of this picture is, let's, let's go clockwise, 8 feet, 4 feet, 8 feet, and finally, the perimeter of this guy, which we just found out, was 2 pi, 2 pi feet. 2 pi and then feet. This is your answer. 8 plus 8 is 16, 16 plus 4 is 20, so it's 20 plus 2 pi feet. We can leave it like this if you want to, or we can say it is approximately 26 feet. Why 26 feet? Because we are, we are approximating pi as 3 which is why we can no longer put an equal sign, we have an equal sign here but here we have to put approximately equal to because pi is not 3 or if you want a little bit more precision you can do a little bit work and say 3.14 times 2 is 6.28 14 times 2 is 28 so it, you can say there is approximately 26 feet or you can say that it is approximately 26 plus 26.28 feet or you can say is about 26 and a quarter feet. 26 and a quarter feet. So if I had a garden, if I had a garden that was shaped in this, that, that was shaped like this, and if I wanted to put a fence around it, I'd have to buy approximately, I would need approximately 26 and a quarter feet to, to fence, to put a fence all around it. Do you understand? Of course I'm not going to buy exactly 26 and a quarter feet. I'll probably buy 30 feet in case uh, you know you lose something in the cutting and so forth or 27 feet. Let's find out the area of this thing, shall we? Area is a little tricky. So that's how we figure out the perimeter. About 26 and a quarter feet. Let's figure out the area. When we, when we want to find out the area of this thing, we, we will run into the same complication. We will run into the same complication. Area of this part area of this rectangle is very easy. Area of this rectangle is very simple. It's just it's just an 8 by 4. It's an 8 by 4. It's 32 square feet. But what about the area of this semicircle? We have to add that. So let's find out, shall we? How do we find the area of a circle? The area of a circle, let's call it A, equals pi r squared. But we don't have a whole circle, we have only half a circle. So let's divide both sides by 2. And that's what we're looking for. Every half the area is pi r squared over 2. Pi is just pi. r squared is going to be 2 squared. r squared is 2 squared over 2. Let's write our 2 squared. Let's write our 2 squared as 2 times 2. Because that's what 2 squared is over 2. So the 2 cancels out, divide top and bottom by 2, and the area is 2 pi. 2 pi what? What's, what's, the, what's the unit? Because the area is going to be squared unit. 2 pi square feet. And this part was 32 square feet. So the total area is 32 plus 2 pi squared feet. Do you understand? You can leave it like this if you want to, or you can do the approximation. You can say that it's approximately 2 times 3 is 6, 6 plus 32 is 38, about 38 square feet if you like. 38 square feet. Or if you want a little bit more precision, you can use 3.14 just like we did before, 3.14. Because you see it's 2 times pi, so 2 times pi is going to be 2 times 3.14, which is 6.28. And so you can say it's approximately 38.28 square feet. 
Why do we still use approximately even though we're using 3.14? Because even 3.14 is not the exact value of pi. We have talk, we talked about it before. Nobody on the planet knows the exact value of pi. It cannot be gotten. It cannot be calculated because it never ends. It's an irrational number. And if you don't know what an irrational number is, if you're interested in learning what an irrational number is, just type in irrational numbers, type in my name next to it, and search for it. Whenever you're, whenever you're trying to understand some mathematical concept, type in the name of the concept and my name along with it and search for it. Without my name, of course, there are thousands of people just like me on the, on the YouTube. But if you're looking for my video in particular, just type in Keshwani and type in irrational number, it will pop right up. There are videos on just about any mathematical concept that you will come across on my channel. I'm pretty sure there is something on something on just about everything because there are well over 2,000 videos on the channel. Do you understand? You will find something. It never ends. So nobody knows the exact value of pi. So even this is approximately. Or if you like, you can say that it's approximately 38 and a quarter square feet. 38 and a quarter square feet. The area of this guy is 38 and a quarter square feet. You must remember to say the unit at the end. And it's not 30 and a, 38 and a square feet. It's not 38 and a quarter feet because it's not linear. It's not one dimensional. It is the area. It area means the unit must be squared. Square feet, square yard, square centimeter, square mile, whatever the unit that, ha that happens to be that you happen to use to measure your length, that unit is, has to be squared because it's the area is two dimensional. That was it, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.